back on the bench with Noisy Boy FPV. I meant to do this at the weekend uh, before I got started, really, but I did get started. Um, not done a lot this week, been busy at work and uh, other things to contend with, but Apex, Impulse RC Apex. Uh, this build I started at the weekend, <clears throat> only had a couple of hours on it, but uh, I got my GoPro mount from Unmanned Tech. Cheap. I think it was six quid. Looks like it's going to do a good job. Anyway, let's get that out of the way. <clears throat> so, it's just in the sort of mock-up stages, really. Nothing's committed, per se. Um, Vista build. Fetech. Version 1.2 F722 KISS flight controller. And I've gone with the Fetec 45 amp ESC. <clears throat> Demon Seed 2208 2050 KV. Uh, you can get the Vista in. It is compact, which I like, um, in all fairness. Power supply, I've gone with the VTX header pin on the top here. This rail has ground, RGB LED driver, 5 volt, VBAT, TX and RX. Uh, one, I believe it is. <coughs> Excuse me. So the VBAT... Right next to it here is two little pickups for direct LiPo power. Um, but the board is supplying VBAT power. And I've looked on the FETEC, FETEC site. So they recommend an extra capacitor when using this header with VBAT voltage for the DJI system. They show it with the air unit, but hey, we're running the Vista. So all I did was repin the supply cable, like I say, just in sort of mock-up stage really. But I've repinned the connector to a line, RX and TX ground, and the VBAT feed for the Vista. Up front behind the camera, I'll be going with the FETEX spike arrester and a 50 volt, 380 microfarad capacitor. And that will be sitting up front, like so. Space, very crucial here. Uh, it looks like you've got quite a bit of room, but in all fairness, it, it becomes very limited very quickly with a DJI camera because it's quite a deep bodied camera unit, as you can see. <clears throat> so me being me, um, I thought I'd have a look into the Nebula Pro. So let's have a look. From what I can tell, people are happy with the performance of the Nebula Pro. Um, whether it surpasses DJI camera performance or not, for me at this stage, remains un un untold. But uh, given the recent developments and how things have moved on, I'm guessing it will be pretty good. Now we've got a much thinner bodied camera now. That's going to get me a vital, maybe four, five millimetres space. And that, that is the space that I need to get the FETEC spike, spike absorber and the capacitor up front. So that's going to be a solution to that problem. All the same unit. This is the same unit, essentially cabling. We've just got a, a micro-sized camera. Looks like it's got the same lens unit as the DJI Air unit. So it'll be interesting to see, yeah, look, same sort of style of lens. So I'm looking forward to trying that. Having tried the DJI camera, it'll just be nice for some sort of comparison. <laughs> but same in the kit, Cadex antenna, little JST lead. No differences with the Nebula Pro other than the camera. Um, so this is the header pin 
This is the JST plug that I repinned for the header pin on the FETEC board. So you can see its original configuration. I just changed the pin outs by carefully lifting the tabs, repinning the wires, not a problem. <clears throat> but uh, there's nothing um, on the FETEC site that says about any current limitation for supplying VTX power or air unit power. There is, however, a five volt rail. Um, you can directly solder a pin header on here and put the nano, the TBS Unify nano unit on there. Um, five volt rail is limited to 600 milliamps, 0.6 of an amp draw. Um, so it's quite a delicate five volt rail, but I won't be using that. Um, so most people will be thinking VBAT feed for your Vista you're going to get some noise but their recommendation is use an extra cap so I'm going to have the spike arrestor and a cap up front I've got a SMA TPU mount with an incorporated capacitor mount that will be going across the rear and I'll run a couple of wires under the Vista and directly onto there so there'll be an arrestor two capacitors connected directly and I've also got um, an XT60 mountable capacitor plug on there is a good size capacitor so there'll be a 50 volt cap going directly onto the XT60 as well so any spikes won't even get down onto the board <coughs> uh, as they leave the LiPo so three caps in total um, some people recommend attaching a, a small capacitor directly to the board of the Vista. Uh, I won't be going with that option. I'm pretty sure three caps and a spike absorber is going to do the job. <clears throat> uh, currently waiting on some longer M2 bolts. But it's, it is going to be a neat build. It's going to be nice and neat and tidy. So that's the build thus far. But the apex frame... <coughs> The build quality is exemplary, um, it's not a myth. This is not a fake PEX, like uh, on another forum that I'm on, somebody suggested that it was the fake PEX from Amazon. It, it's not, it's a genuine. The bag's down there, I'm not gonna fish it out. But it is genuine. There you go, some impulse ass at the packaging. Look. Uh, that's the plastics kit in black. I bought a red one Just to switch it up a little bit But the the carbon quality very nice all the fasteners and fixtures and Man alive it is a stiff little fella That is a stiff frame that feels good So there's a lot of people like this frame. It's With your arms on top of the base plate like with a sauce one the below so that gets you a few more millimetres of raised motor. So the tops of your motors, you can get it in the shop, the tops of your motors are deck level with the top of the central body, fuselage, call it what you will. So that's that's going to give you a good centre of gravity. Um, I've activated the FETEC flight controller <coughs> with the KISS GUI. I've downloaded the FETEC ESC configurator, so no doubt there'll be another firmware to go in there. Um, so all this to be done yet, yeah, I'm a complete newbie to KISS, um, looking forward to it. I've gone with the Impulse RC race wire. Looks nicely made, so obviously just straight onto the arm. Wow, that is, could do to be a bit short of that, in all fairness, because my motor wires, I have to trim that heat shrink back where it comes out the motor. But they follow the arm shape perfectly. So all being well, I'm still gonna be able to put the protection covers on the arms, keep things neat and tidy. But uh, I did order, three spike arresters and I got two <laughs> it's on here somewhere I got two OSD boards instead of spike arresters well, there you go 
So that's the spike absorber, spike arrester, call it what you will, with a cap mounted piggyback, that'll be heat shrunk. So that should do its job. One little gripe with the apex frame, not a big deal. The rubber battery pad, the double sided thin adhesive skin that comes bonded to the rubber, it literally just fell off. So I'm gonna have to bond that on there. Just a little bit of contact adhesive. But there is a Umagrip, Apex Umagrip battery pad, but it seems to be sold out everywhere, no doubt, because Umagrip is the stickiest thing known to man. Um, so I might just bomb that on there. But uh, as I get further into the build, it'll be this weekend now, I'm gonna swap out the Vista with the DJI camera the Nebula Pro is going in there. I'll get the race wire on there and get things buttoned up a bit. And then we'll get inside the GUI for KISS and begin the configuration. I've done a little bit of work into it. Um, had a look around the GUI, doesn't look too bad. There's a few videos on YouTube that uh, show the way, which is always helpful. It's nice that people take the time, but uh, in short, if you're thinking of an HD Vista build for the Apex, it's looking like yeah, you, you, you get, you'd go with the original Vista, you'd find a way, but I'm 100% sure that going with the Nebula Pro is going to be the better option to just give you a little bit more nose room up front. Uh, but yeah, really looking forward to trying the Apex on KISS. If it's as good and I've got no reason to believe it isn't, as what people say, I may well put all my five inch quads on KISS. Um, I have got a Flight 1 Lightning H7 coming. I'm gonna give that a bash. I'll need an F3 flight uh, ESC to run that. So I might, I might have a go in America with that, or possibly in my Source 1, just for experimentation purposes. I'll buy another frame. But uh, yeah, Impulse RC frame quality, very, very nice in short. So it's, it's gonna be a good build. It's gonna be interesting. Lots of nice quality hardware. When assembling the frame, you've got to insert your nut sets yourself. So not a problem. I just use the spreader washer and the bolt and then draw them into the cutouts in the arms don't do what i nearly did and i nearly tightened the some other m3 cap head 2.5 mil drive bolts and there's a couple that are a little longer and you will shove them into this carbon plate if you select the wrong bolts so make sure you've got the right ones eight millimeter length i think they were so that's just something to be mindful of don't rush into the build and start cranking down everything just have a little bit of a think about it. But uh, going with the Ethics S5 props, I'm gonna give them a well. Seems to be a few people using them. Obviously 6S build. So it's just a little update into the Apex build, a little insight into. And uh, coming to Noisy Boys channel soon will be some KISS configuration and setup. Um, I'll have to do a little bit more research, but uh, yeah, just to look into the apex, really. Noisy boy, signing out. Yeah! <laughs>